Love, Simon is a true-to-life story of a high school senior who has a very big secret that none of his friends or even his family know about. The secret, of course, being that he's gay. He sees on a website where you can share things anonymously, a fellow high school classmate of his is also saying that they are gay, just anonymously. So he sees this as an opportunity to start to share his secret for the very first time. So it's a back and forth anonymous pen pal, if you will. I didn't think I'd find too much to laugh about with this film, but with the social awkwardness, well-written dialogue, and an over-the-top eccentric vice principal who was way into his job, there was enough lighthearted chuckles to go around. This movie was weird, in the sense that it made me feel the same level of suspense that a traditional suspense or action movie would have. I was actually greatly concerned about Simon and for Simon as he was kind contemplating sharing his secret to the rest of the world. Now, that has to be one of, if not the most stressful thing of all time, uh, you know, coming out. I can only assume that figuring out when you want to come out and how you want to come out is probably one of the least comical emotions, but they did a very good job here of highlighting the areas of a closeted high school teen that actually are, in fact, comical. And not that I was on the edge of my seat, but I did have a fun time trying to decipher, trying to figure out which of his high school classmates was Simon's anonymous pen pal. This movie was very well done from a storytelling standpoint. You truly were encapsulated in the journey from start to finish. Sure, okay, I was rude for Simon in the movie, but there wasn't anything intense enough to give me that, uh, that adrenaline rush that those car chases and flying bullets offer. Funny story, I was on IMDb looking at how many different movies multiple actors in this cast were in together. Now, I already knew that the actors that played Leah and Cal, they were in this super serious hit Netflix show, 13 Reasons Why. Now, I thought that the actor that played Martin was also in that show with them, but I was wrong. Instead, he was in a movie with the actor that played Cal, The Stanford Prison Experiment. Now, I thought to myself while realizing all this, hmm, this seems like a pretty easy game of seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. And as soon as that thought crossed my mind, yeah, I was looking at Miles Heiser's IMDb. The, he's the actor that plays Cal. And what do I see right there in front of me under movies he is known for? Rails and Ties. What is Rails and Ties, you ask? Oh, just a 2007 movie starring none other than Kevin freaking Bacon. Oh yeah, well, this movie, yeah, it was really good too. Whether you are gay or not, the high school level emotions shared by Simon are universal, and you are truly able to connect with Simon and cheer him on throughout his journey. Nine out of 10. The lighthearted giggle bits were perfectly done in a way they did not seem cheesy, and it fit perfectly into the story. 7 out of 10. I thought I nailed who he was writing to early on in the movie, but I was pleasantly surprised to see who it actually was. 7 out of 10. There is nothing here for my action Jacksons, which is what I call my fellow action movie buffs. 1 out of 10. As a social outcast myself in high school, I felt very connected to Simon, and that made the movie even greater for me. And that's not even counting the 7 degrees of Kevin Bacon. 8 out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Love, Simon the overall rating of, aw, we love you too. This movie was actually really good. Not to say that we went in with low expectations or thinking it was going to be bad, it just was that really good of a movie. Out of the entire movie, the only gripe I had was the acting of Simon's younger sister. If you can avoid paying too much attention to her in the few scenes she's in, you're going to love Simon too. Well, there you have it. That's our review. What do you think? Have you seen Love, Simon? Are we way off, right on? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll check it out and respond. As always, if you want to stay up to date on all things Who's Review, go ahead and like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and most importantly, of all, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We hope you guys had a good time. We'll see you here next time on Who's Review. Good old airplane flying over my head, and I don't know if it picks up on the mic, but I don't think it does.